This E3 wrap-up is brought to you by Netflix. What's up, guys? Max here for Rev3 Games, and I am with Siggy, who is the lead programmer for uh, CCP's EVR, is that right? Yeah, that's correct. Now, explain what EVR is. It's 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 pretty cool when you sum it up. <laughs> well, it's a, it's a concept we did for virtual reality. Um, a bunch of us were just really excited about, about uh, the Oculus Rift. That was coming along. Good so uh, we just uh, looked at, you know, we had the EB universe and all of that, all of the rich um, universe there and all the models and the textures. We had a lot of assets we could use. So we just, you know, we had upcoming fan fest. So it was our player gathering in Reykjavik in April. So we decided to put together this game. Uh, it took us seven weeks uh, during 20% uh, uh, work time and uh, our free time, you know, evenings and weekends. That's so cool. It's, it's I mean, it's... You guys made a, a, a virtual reality flight sim. Yes. Uh, wh what is the what was your inspiration for this? I mean, are you a fan of VR? Are you a fan of flight flight simulators? Did you want to you want to make a Oculus Rift piece of software? Well, of course, we are throwing inspiration from like the old games like Wing Commander, um, you know, X Fighter, uh, X Wing, and uh, yeah, that's what we went for. Well, jumping into it, I mean, it really does feel like you are in the cockpit of a spaceship, and that's that's the great thing about it is that you, you know you look down and you see your legs and you see your hands. Uh, do you where do you see this going? Is this going to be a game that people can download and play? Is it? I mean, what's the plan here? Well, we we are co considering a few options right now, so uh, we don't really know at the moment. It's just a prototype to test the waters to see where it leads, how people like it. So uh, who knows? It might be a new game. It might be just a tech demo. Uh, at the moment, we haven't decided. So EVR is, is one of the first games I've played that's actually made for the Oculus Rift. It's not just kind of taking something else and porting it over into there. Uh, explain explain how it works. It's kind of, it's kind of hard to really uh, you know describe a game, and, and it's hard to you know get a sense of it just look, looking at gameplay. But w how does it work when people play it? Well, uh, one of the unique abilities of the Oculus Rift it gives you a really wide field of view, and that's something new. And uh, this uh, thing to have to look around, use your head. And that's uh, like our missile system in the game. You can shoot missiles, and to lock the missiles, you actually have to turn your head to look around and lock them. So we actually did that feature to make people look around and be more aware of the of the world around you. Yeah, it's, it's completely. It doesn't. It doesn't feel like you know normal. Uh, you know, it's it's a different playing field. And at the same time, you've also got you also got lasers. It's really hard to hit something with lasers when you're in space. Oh, we know. You know, that's why you just get a lot of them. Yeah. yeah. And it's, I mean, are you are you guys trying to make this, uh, you know, trying to make it more of a competitive thing? Are you trying to make like a, uh, was I playing against those guys? Was that what it was? Yeah, yeah this was uh, multiplayer, three versus three. So if you could add more to this, what would you what would you do to kind of expand upon it? We have loads of ideas. I mean, you could, for example, add customization, fittings for the guys who like Eve. Uh, so you could um, customize your craft, like more defensive, more offensive, uh, change weapons. Um, of course, uh, more maps, different areas to fight in. Uh, one of the ideas we have is actually a wormhole. So you could go into the wormhole and uh, go into what we call the uh, meter sleepers and fight around the wrecks over there. Well, I love the idea that, uh, I mean, on top of customizing your ship and your weapons, you also could, you know, very easily customize your, you know, your pilot's, your pilot's outfit, because that is, that's part of it. Um, have you thought of, of, of incorporating, you know, something, another, another Kickstarter success, like the, like the Leap Motion, perchance? Because I was playing with a, with a, you know, 360 controller hooked up to a, a PC. Already done some early tests, both, both with the Leap Motion and the Razer Hydra. You guys are doing some cool stuff. I mean, first you took you had you took Eve Online, this amazing, successful, giant, sprawling MMO, and then you combine that with you know Dust Five Fourteen, and now you've got this, which is kind of off in the corner. And I'm just dying to see all these things kind of come together. Uh, any any uh, any dream projects you'd love to work on? If you could if you could expand upon you know the Eve universe as it is, and any more think tank projects up, you know coming down the pipe? Well, currently I'd love to work on this one full time. Uh, there is a lot of potential here, and like, everyone on the team has loads of ideas. We've met plenty of players, for example, on a player gathering, and everyone has just wants to get this in there somehow. But I mean, like Dust works really well together because that's on the planets, while Eve is, Eve is in space. So we kind of need to find where this one will fit because uh, this is kind of different gameplay, so it won't like fit right away with the rest of Eve. Might, might need to segregate it away somehow. Well, people could have said the same thing about you know commanding ships, of, fleets of ships, and on a PC, and then fighting on the ground in PS3. But you guys managed to figure that out. Uh, but yeah, if there's if there's enough interest, this could become an actual an actual thing. I really hope so. Yeah. Well, you, that's up to you guys. So pay attention to this. The guys at CCP really they they do some incredible stuff, and they're really it's so refreshing to see a company that encourages kind of 
creativity and, and you know, this isn't being made as a product. You guys are doing this for fun. Otherwise, I'd, I'd be asking you what the release date is. But uh, pay attention to this one and check out the rest of our coverage right here. Uh, I want to go play this, this Space Fighter game again. Thank you so much for chatting. Thank you. Hey guys, I know we all love games, but guess what? Movies are great too, and with Netflix, you can watch tons of them for super cheap from the comfort of your home computer or console. They've also got a bunch of TV shows like the fourth season of Arrested Development, which is only available to watch on Netflix. Just hit up netflix.com slash revision3 and we'll hook you up with a free trial. And remember, every sign up helps support this year's E3 coverage.